A big question these days um, are is for patients who are in a very good molecular remission with CML, is it safe to stop their tyrosine kinase inhibitor? So these drugs, while they're very effective for the disease, they have um, side effects. Um, patients often feel poorly while they're taking them. They're very costly. Um, they are contraindicated in pregnancy. And so there's lots of reasons that patients uh, would want to try to stop these uh, treatments if at all possible. So this abstract looked at patients who were in a very good molecular remission, having a 4.5 log reduction in their BCR able transcript. Um, and then they were enrolled in the study. They were given one year um, of uh, nilotinib, and then they, if they remained in complete molecular remission, uh, the nilotinib was discontinued, and they were followed very closely with BCR able transcripts every um, one month. And with the primary primary endpoint being how many of these patients stayed in remission long term, and the results show that about 60% of patients um, will remain in a um, MR 4.5 remission, um, and the time point was at 48 weeks after stopping treatment. And this is very consistent with prior studies showing 50 to 60 percent of patients will rem remain in remission. The other important thing this study looked at was for those patients who came out of remission, um, were they able to re-enter molecular remission when the drug was restarted? In the vast majority of cases, in cases 98 percent, um, they were able. So I think this is just um, building evidence that for patients who um, are very compliant and able to follow up closely with their oncologist, um, in the future, um, it might become standard of care to stop their tyrosine kinase inhibitor, assuming they're in a very good molecular remission.